Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you have been here and if you have not, hello, we do makeup here and other beauty things. So today I wanted to share with you my monthly favorites. What month is it? So we are entering June, so this would be my May favorites, right? Right. I don't have too many, but I do have some things that I have been obsessed with. So I thought I would show you. So the first thing I want to talk about is these two brushes. These are both from Morphe. As you know, I placed a huge order of brushes from Morphe and I have been slowly discovering my love for them, like individually. So I feel like every month I've had a few brushes in there just because I'm just discovering them, you know? So these are the two I want to talk about. This is the E36 and then the M432. And it is these two right here. This is what they look like. So I use both of these mostly for my lower lash line. So I use this one. This is the E36. I use it for um, applying eyeshadow right here on my lower lash line. And I just feel like it blends the eyeshadow really easily, really smoothly. It doesn't hurt or bother or irritate my eyes when I use it so I just go in all over my lower lash line and apply whatever shadow I want to apply that day and then I will take this one and go right on my lower lash line so I can't see anything right now but I will take this and apply it right on my lower lash line and just kind of wiggle it like that and it applies everything so precisely again it doesn't irritate my eyes and it just applies everything very smoothly i was in need of brushes like these and i've been loving this so my next favorite is this dr brand force no more primer core refiner primer i got this a while back and i used it one time and i think my skin was going through like a phase and it just didn't work for me. I don't know what it was. I just didn't like it. I think it was a bit drying. But I did use it this weekend when I was in North Carolina. And it held up pretty well. It covered my pores. It made my skin look more smooth. It made my makeup go on pretty smooth and nicely and just evenly. And it was really nice. So I've been loving this. I think I'll keep using it. But I think I may get the full size because I really did like it. So the next thing I want to show you is this was definitely like a impulse buy because... I was at the drugstore, I was looking at some things from Wet n Wild and right when I was done looking for everything I just glanced, saw this, picked it up and just paid for it. I just like the color but I just did not expect to love this as much as I do. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Color and this is in the color by the way. What is this? Private Viewing, that's interesting. And it is the 204 E. So this thing let me just tell you my nails grow a lot they grow a lot i always have long nails but then they break so easily i have been taking vitamins for that and it has helped but they break easily and then they chip a lot so nail polish does not last on me it doesn't matter if i do it myself it doesn't matter if i go to the salon and get them done um it just chips nail polish doesn't last on my fingernails but this thing lasted me, no joke, at least four to five days. And it looked so beautiful. I don't know if it's the color, I don't know if it's the formula, but this was amazing and I am obsessed with this. I have worn this, I think like three consecutive times. I'm not wearing it right now, obviously, <laughs> because I just got back from North Carolina. I was helping my in-laws move, it was a long weekend. So um, I'm not wearing this but I have been loving loving this and I think I'm going to go back and get a few more colors and just see if the formula is consistent with all of them because I really love this and it's like two three dollars something like that so that's the best part next thing I have been loving is this NYX highlight and contour pro palette I know I am super late with this thing this is like a year old so I got this like two months ago and I have been using it since then I've mostly been using this shade right here and then this banana shade and I have been loving these um to be completely honest I don't love it as much as I love my hula bronzer and then my highlight shade from the Kat Von D highlighting contour palette i don't love them as much as those but if you are on a budget or if you just want something you know a product like this from the drugstore this is amazing you have so many options first of all they go on really smoothly they don't look patchy they don't look muddy and then you do get a little bit of a highlight shade right here which i haven't tried because you know i don't like shimmery stuff on my face 
it's just not good but it's really pretty it's like an icy silvery color it's really pretty you have cool shades you have warm shades you have neutral shades it's pretty nice and it's such a good deal this is I believe $25 but if you wait for like a coupon at the drugstore you can get it for much cheaper and I know that also sometimes we'll have it for like $15 so it's pretty good and the last thing I want to talk about is this sea salt texture spray for hair this is from the brand julep and let me just tell you a little bit about julep sephora now carries their nail polish i don't know if they carry their other products but let me tell you about this julep is a nail polish brand it's a subscription and it's also a store so you can get the monthly subscription so for the subscription you can get like two nail polishes and a beauty product or you can get two full-size beauty products or you can get three nail polishes and then they have something where you can get like the full monthly collection and that's truly really pricey but anyway you pay 20 or 30 is it 30 dollars i think it's like 20 to 30 dollars not sure but their nail polishes are good they're really good they are like um what is that they call it four free or five free i'm not sure what it is but they're good they don't have like weird chemicals like they're good for you and i've heard that if you are pregnant you're not supposed to use nail polish but this nail polish is safe if you're pregnant however their beauty products are so good i got the subscription at first because of the nail polish and i've had it for like two years i think or three i think i've had it for like three years but i keep skipping the month so that's why i'm not sure what the price is but their beauty products are so amazing they're so good i i think one day i will sit down and just show you everything i have from julep because i really do love this brand so much i have the cleansing oil i'm obsessed with um i have a bronzer a blush a highlighter from them i have some eyeshadow i've tried the mascara i've tried some lip products i have tried um eyeliner the sea salt spray there's also like a body oil and everything seriously everything i have loved i think there's very few things that i don't like from this brand but i can't think of them like i said maybe i'll do a whole video if you want to see that let me know if you've seen my latest videos in most of them this is the only thing i've done with my hair because let's be honest i am tired of hat tools i don't use them that often years and years ago my hair was always 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 straight i'm talking too much today but long story short um i have learned over the years to just appreciate my hair the way it is and to not over style it so i barely make my hair straight anymore um when i do use hot tools it's mostly like my curling one and I'll do just like loose waves which takes like 10 minutes but I just I've learned to appreciate my hair the way it is you know so I like it more natural now so for the summer I love this product because I just spray it on my hair when it's freshly washed and what when you get out of the pool especially if you have somewhere else to go after that you have no time to do much to your hair so when it's wet you just washed it because you got out of the pool or the beach you just spray this thing all over your hair so you just spray it all over your hair like so so you just kind of scrunch it up a bit and it gives you this natural curl wavy beachy hair and i don't have to do much to it i do however and this is this isn't particularly like a favorite but this is what i've been using with it this is the Live Proof Restore Instant Repair. It's a repairing lotion. It's basically like a leave-in conditioner. When my hair is wet and freshly washed, I will just take a leave-in conditioner, apply it all over my hair, and then I'll spray the sea salt spray. Because this can be a little bit drying. I mean, let's face it, it is sea salt. It's a salt spray for your hair. So it will be a little drying. But if you apply a leave-in conditioner or any type of treatment before, you should be fine so the fact that i can do this and it takes five minutes is so convenient so easy especially in the summer so loving this thing if you want to see a video on all my julep products let me know because they're so good and i feel like they are underappreciated. so i definitely will make a video on everything i have from them because 
I really really like it. So that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you have any monthly favorites, let me know what they are in the comments. Let me know what you have been loving. And if there's anything that I should try, let me know because um, I do want to get some new things. Bye. Am I saying that weird? Julep, 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 julep. If you have, what am I doing? Nervous pregnant? I don't, I don't know.